Have you ever looked at a cloud and suddenly saw the shape of a dog, a rabbit, or a face? Or walked into a dark room and jumped when you thought you saw something move, only to realize it was just a coat hanging on a chair? These moments happen because of the way our brain processes information. In psychology, we explain this using two terms, bottom-up processing and top-down processing. Let's break them down. Bottom-up processing starts with what we sense from our environment. You receive information through your eyes, ears, nose, skin, your senses, and your brain builds an understanding from the ground up. You're not guessing or assuming. You're simply reacting to what you see, hear, or feel. For example, imagine you've never seen a puzzle before. You pick up the pieces, look at their shape and color, and try to figure out what the picture will be as you go. That's bottom up, starting with raw data and building an understanding. Or another example, if you hear a loud, unfamiliar noise and immediately look around to find the source, you're using bottom up processing. On the flip side, Top-down processing works the opposite way. It starts with what you already know, your expectations, experiences, prior knowledge, and your brain interprets the information based on that. You're using your mind to make sense of the world, sometimes even before your senses finish gathering all the details. An example of this, let's look back at that puzzle. But this time, you've seen the box, you've seen the cover, you know what the final picture will look like. Now your brain uses that knowledge to help you fit the pieces together more quickly. That's top-down processing. Or for another example, reading messy handwriting is hard. Trust me, I'm a teacher, I know. Unless you have already know what the sentence says, your brain tries to fill in the blanks and help you to see the right words. It can take time, but if you know the topic the student is writing about, if you know other information, it's easier to figure it out because you know something going into it. So what's the difference? Bottom up is like building from the bottom. Sensory first, brain second. You analyze the data piece by piece, while top down is like using a blueprint. Brain first, sensory second. You use prior knowledge to speed up interpretation. Both are constantly at work. Your brain switches between them to help you understand the world faster and more accurately. So to kind of summarize it, bottom-up processing is when you start with raw sensory input, while top-down processing is starting with what your brain already knows. Thanks for watching, and I hope it helps you understand your brain and the world a little bit more.